the training, not only of uh, our doctors, but also to be uh, in, uh, but also to involve a wide range of uh, specialists in uh, in the uh, organization, uh, starting from interventional cardiologists, angiologists, uh, vascular surgeon, uh, some interventional radiologists, and the other. Uh, the other uh, specialists who perform endovascular procedure treat uh, peripheral uh, vascular uh, intervention. Just advance the loop, or shall I just take the tip of the wire? I am. Uh, I try once with the loop. So if the loop is going to go in, which is the case here, um, so the loop went in. I just twist and turned a little bit. So I think we are in the true lumen. Maybe you can pick it up. Here, yeah. yeah. so there's blood coming, and we just for the lawyer. check. Um, I was just not aware of this. We, are, we, we will just check at the end. Uh, depends on uh, if it's a cloudy can, probably it's something you can discuss. Um, if it's a single vessel runoff, I would always treat a single vessel disease um, and also just to, to optimize the outflow and just to um, prevent CLI. If one out of three has got something like a stenotic lesion, I'm not sure whether it is an indication to, for treatment, yes or no, I but we can check. I think you can see it in the first angio. Maybe we can check? Say the distal part is not there so is, bad. The proximal part. That's also some residual stenosis, and I would say also dissection. Uh, and just it looks a little bit like a yeah, spiral dissection. Um, it always, after standing, it always looks nice. So uh, that's a problem. Um, and maybe just next one. Could also stand this portion. This one. Because of the very close to the distal portion of the of the mm. occlusion, and we would definitely stand this. Why? 
What's the reason for standing here? 